you want to just say a little bit about uh, kind of your experience? You know, I had a chance to talk to a few people about this earlier, but when we're doing, we were coming up with a, a winter beer or, or a holiday beer or a Christmas beer, uh, you know, our thought was a lot of breweries try to make dark, strong beers for winter because, the, uh, especially in the upper Midwest, it's cold. These beers have a tendency to warm you up, but the, the winter for me wasn't about dark beers growing up. The memories that stuck with me was being this big with an oversized apron on, helping my grandmother roll out biscotti or punching out cookies back in Baltimore. So we thought Brad had some ideas, I had some ideas, so we thought we'd do a, a beer based on a Christmas cookie. And a lot of people thought, wow, you guys are totally nuts for you thinking about that. <laughs> But if you try our Minnesota tan, which is different, or you try any of the beers we have, you notice there's gonna, we made these beers our own. We didn't try to duplicate or make better a, a recipe. We took these recipes and we tried to make them our own. So what you get from us is what we, is our take on a certain style or, or a beer that we came up with. And I think that that's another great thing about beer is, you know, you can just totally go outside the box and do something really crazy. There's no, there's no certain rules that we have to follow that, uh, that would restrict us to flavor. So if you have an idea on beer, you can have it's out there. So and people that tell me they don't like beer, I tell them I bet you I can find a beer you'll not just like but you'll love. So it's really a kind of a pretty broad statement to say a challenge. For you. So, uh, but this biscotti recipe, this biscotti is uh, something we've, the second year we've done it, and, we, and we're going to try it, we're going to do it every year, and we're probably going to try to tweak it and improve it, so I hope you like it. And uh, some of the ingredients and spices that are in there are Madagascar vanilla, so we use whole uh, vanilla beans, um, star anise, grains of paradise, honey, honey from a local uh, e man Lots of honey. Lots of honey. <laughs> so, and I think uh, the component of that beer that goes with the uh, food that we're being served is the uh, sardis has that fennel type black licorice kind of quality, and, and it should pair pretty uh, nicely with the uh, fennel slaw that you have. I think one more thing about the beer is, I, like with the biscotti especially, as it warms up, I think the flavor t tastes different, so you get different spices as that beer warms up. So, um, I kind of like the Put my hand around it and let it warm up a little bit and try it a few times as you're eating your course and I think you might pull different spices out. So. Any other questions or? All right, well, I'll go ahead and enjoy it. Cheers.